play the Blu-ray, open up XBMC. Go to your Video Plugins folder, which in the default skin is going to be under Videos, Video Plugins. Go to Blu-ray, and if you're on Windows, you'll need to tweak a few settings first. So go to Settings, and find your Make MKV location. It's going to be in your Make MKV install folder, likely in Program Files, and you're going to need to navigate to MakeMKVCon.exe. Once you've done that, hit OK, and go up to Play Disc. It's not ideal, it's not native playback, and it will take about a minute or two for your movie to start up, but it's a heck of a lot better than waiting a half hour for the entire Blu-ray to rip to your system, and it's all within the XBMC itself, so you don't actually have to get out a mouse and keyboard if you're using this on a home theater PC. So um, after a minute or two, your Blu-ray will start playing. Uh, it can be a bit finicky, I've noticed, if you try and pause and restart it a lot. Um, but other than that, it's about as close as we're going to get to native Blu-ray playback for a while, so enjoy.